Wir wollen jetzt sprechen mit der jüngsten Tochter von Eric Garner. Esmeralda Garner ist mir nun zugeschaltet. It's so nice that you're here with us today. So first I will ask you in German and then I'll translate in English again, if that's fine for you. That works perfect for me. Great. Als erstes möchte ich natürlich wissen, wie schwer es sein muss, wenn man sieht, dass fast genau dasselbe jetzt sechs Jahre später wieder in Amerika passiert. So it must be so hard for you to see how history in a tragic way repeats itself right now in the US. How do you feel about everything that's going on? Right. Unfortunately, it's it's reliving the moment. Um, I definitely um, send my condolences to the family. I definitely um, feel for the family of George Floyd. Um, I definitely feel for them. Also als allererstes möchte sie ihr Beileid aussprechen an die Familie von George Floyd. Sie fühlt natürlich mit der Familie und es ist auch für sie schwer, dass sich das jetzt wiederholt. Ja, der, der Fall ihres Vaters ähm, ist vor fünf Jahren, ist fünf Jahre später, wurde der Polizist erst entlassen. Er wurde nie angezeigt. Jetzt in dem Fall von George Floyd ist, sind die Polizisten entlassen worden. Einer von ihnen ist bisher angeklagt. Ist das ein Schritt nach vorne? So the policeman involved in your father's case was fired five years after the tragic incident. He was never charged. The policeman in this case is charged, at least one of them. Is that a step forward in your eyes? Um, unfortunately, no. Um, the officer being fired five years later, um, that's that's not justice. Um, for me, justice is passing the Aragona law. Um, all officers should be held accountable. All officers should have been fired in my father's case. And unfortunately, they weren't. But we will definitely push forward for um, the Aragona law, which would prevent cops from being from not being held accountable. Also für sie ist das jetzt noch nicht genug. Auch in dem Fall ihres Vaters hätten alle Polizisten entlassen werden müssen. Das war damals nicht der Fall. Deswegen setzt sie sich jetzt für das Eric Garner Law ein, also für ein Gesetz, das dafür sorgen soll, dass alle Polizisten, die in solche Fälle verwickelt sind, wirklich alle dafür gerade stehen und verantwortlich gemacht werden. So tell me more about the Eric Garner Law. What exactly is it? I'm going to repeat the question. The Eric Garner law you're trying to push forward right now, what exactly will it do in the future? Right now, um, what we're pushing for is the Eric Garner law, which will appoint an uh, independent prosecutor to investigate all police brutality cases. Um, all officers will be federally indicted um, nationally. on a federal. On a, we want it to be passed in a federal level so that um, they can be charged federally. They can actually serve time for killing us. And um, Eric Garner Law is all about accountability. It's about being held accountable for your actions. You are sitting on someone's neck and they are saying that they cannot breathe. That I don't, if that is not a cry for help, then I don't know what is. And the Eric Garner Law will prevent cops from not from, they, it would make them think twice about restricting somebody's breathing because they know they could be federally prosecuted. Also mit dem Eric Garner Law, für das sich jetzt sowohl die Tochter als auch der Rest der Familie einsetzt, sollen Polizisten verantwortlich gemacht werden für ihre Taten. Wenn jemand sagt, er kann nicht atmen, weil man auf seinem Hals kniet, dann muss das später auch dazu führen, dass die Menschen, die Polizisten ins Gefängnis kommen. Sie setzt sich dafür ein, dass keine Afroamerikaner mehr durch Polizeigewalt sterben können und danach eigentlich nichts passiert. Vor allem soll es ein Federal Law werden, also dass wirklich im ganzen Land dieses Gesetz gilt. Also my last question for you is, when your father passed away, your family asked for all the protesters to stay peaceful and to remember his name. What is your wish for the people right now? I mean, there are a lot of peaceful protests, but also riots going on in the whole country. What, what do you have to say about that? Um, I, I just want to say two things. I just want to say that people that are standing with George Floyd, they're not they're not rioting. They're not looting. They're not um, destroying properties. The people who are against the protesters are the ones that are rioting. I, I encourage people to continue peacefully protesting. Um, don't let the, the, the people who come in and, and especially the police officers that come in and they, they start to use aggression and uh, on a peaceful protest. I always encourage peaceful protesting. Um, Right now, we're in a, in a national crisis. COVID-19 is real. COVID-19 is affecting black people. But black people have to risk their lives to save our lives. So um, I just encourage everyone to continue to be peaceful. 
rioting and looting and destroying property is not the answer. And if you want to stand with this family, you will not shed a bad light on their name. You will not shed a bad light on their loved one. George Floyd would not be outside in the streets yelling and screaming and destroying properties. George Floyd would probably be outside standing with the rest of the victims of police brutality. So stop rioting, stop looting, and just peacefully protest so that you can stand with us and stand with us as a whole. Thank you so much for joining us today and yeah, spreading this message. Thank you so much. Ja, meine letzte Frage. Thank you. You have a good day. Thank you, you for too. having me.